this is a video which looks at the issue of digital links and creating digital links for submitting VAT returns under the Making Tax Digital for VAT regime. Uh, we start with VAT Notice 7022 on the government website. Obviously that is currently uh, the main source of information as to what the rules are and I tend to summarize those as once data is put into the computer it doesn't get retyped. The rules also prevent cutting and pasting because they consider that to always be equivalent to retyping. So how do we create digital links so that a VAT return can be submitted using comma separated variable files, CSV files? Well I will look at Open Office and at Excel at how to do this. So if we go through and ignore that for the moment. This is an example of a very simple example where all I've done is put the, a list of output and input VAT in separate worksheets. So if we look at the bottom, and I've done this so that the um, uh, page, you can't see the whole of my computer screen um, because basically that way you wouldn't be able to see the, the letters in on the screen. So um, what you have here is two three worksheets, an input worksheet, an output worksheet, and a summary worksheet. And obviously a lot of the people watching this will be well experienced in how um, spreadsheets work. So um, here we have, for instance, a list of invoices input VAT where we've made some payments uh, to do with invoices received. And the bottom of the column is automatically calculated as a total. So it says add up all the, the items in that column. And if you change the one at the top to, to 200 rather than 100, um, the VAT is recalculated in this instance. Obviously, you need to take the VAT from the invoice because it will vary. It won't always be a static percentage. Um, and the total at the bottom is recalculated, and that's quite straightforward. Similarly, we have a last list of invoices rendered. Again, if you change the figures, um, then the totals will change. Uh, that's a digital link within a worksheet. Now everyone's used to that so there's no issue there and everyone's used to the next stage which is you can then refer um, so that the figure at the top the VAT due in that period uh, we're not in this instance looking at any VAT relating to the EU um, so we've just got domestic VAT so the VAT due in that period comes from the, the output VAT column so the figure of 1800 is produced on the summary sheet and if you if you look at the top of the screen you'll see how it's got a formula there which uh, tells it how to link together and you can type that formula in and it's, it combines the worksheet name and the cell name the cells obviously having an A or a B or C and a number uh, and if we go back onto output VAT and we, we change that figure at the top there to 2000 the VAT is 1600 pounds and on the summary we get 1600 and you see at the top it's a strange little formula where it says equals dollar um, and then there's an apostrophe because there's a space in the name of the worksheet um, output VAT apostrophe full stop and then E8 with the cell so it's saying go to output VAT and take cell E8 and put that figure onto the summary. Excel is very similar in the way it works and we have here um, Excel again um, the, fi the figures are slightly different on this again I've done it by creating a summary worksheet in the workbook so if we bring that up you see that it says summary there and the summary in this instance um, the formula is just slightly different if you if you see because basically uh, rather than having the dollar it has equals apostrophe output VAT output space VAT apostrophe exclamation mark H10 which tells it it's in this instance it needs cell H10 from the output VAT um, thingy down here so this is um, the output VAT worksheet um, cell H10 is then transferred into the summary now so we can produce a summary and then we need to take from that summary a comma separated variables file 
and for both Excel and OpenOffice, and actually our, we've, we've looked at other systems, there is Save As. So if we go on to File, and we do Save As, and we go into Digital Link Examples, and we exa example today, we do Save. Um, actually, what have I saved it as? I haven't saved it as the right thing. Let's try that. Save As, Digital Link Examples, I just saved it as another, another workbook. Example today, CSV, and then Save As Type, uh, CSV UTF-8. Um, CSV stands for Comma Separated Variables. We'll look at that in a second. Um, UTF-8, you don't need to worry about that particularly. It's the way in which it encodes Unicode, so emojis and things like that, and Cyrillic and Greek and Arabic and all the things that aren't normal, sort of basic, sort of Roman alphabet things and numbers um, are encoded in a particular way. And being as we're not sending emojis to the taxman, we don't really have to worry too much about the UTF-8 side of things. So, um, comma separated variables, example today, CSV. Um, now, it comes up with a message. I'll try and bring it on the screen. The selected file type does not support workbooks that contain multiple sheets. Well, that's actually good news because we don't want to have um, anything other than the summary go into the comma separated variables file. So, to save only the active sheet, click OK. Well, we only want to save the active sheet, which is the summary. So, we click OK there. And it's some features in your workbook might be lost if you save it as a CCSV UTF-8 comma delimited file. Do you want to keep using that form? The answer is actually yes, we do. Because we want it not to save the formulae, but in fact to save the values. And if then we go and have a look at example today's CSV, um, you will see in Notepad that in fact it's not saved the formulas. On the right hand side here, the values that were in the, the spreadsheet have been saved as well. So that's how we've created a, a comma separated variables file with Excel. OpenOffice, of course, is a very similar way of doing things. We have save as. Let me see what we can get up on the screen here. Bring it up a little bit and you see how there's lots of different options here. Text, CSV, comma separated variables. OpenOffice to CSV, Open Office CSV we'll call it and that's now saved that. Again, we're getting a similar complaining message from OpenOffice, which says that the document may contain formatting or content that cannot be used, saved in that format. Well, that's good as well. We don't want the formulae. We, we just want to have the, and this is the, the, the format as well, which is a similar sort of thing to, to uh, UTF-8 except it's not UTF-8, it's Windows 1252. But we don't need to worry about that because the default ones always do it right. Um, so here we go. On the, we now have OpenOffice CSV and we can look at that with Notepad and we see how on this one um, the values have come through, not the, not the formulae. So what we've done with both Excel and OpenOffice, we've created digital links by having in the workbook a summary sheet for VAT which is automatically updated from the lists of inputs and outputs and then we've saved a comma separated variables file and it doesn't matter whether it's UTF-8 or Windows 1252 or whatever it may be uh, what matters is it's a comma separated variables file and then that can be uploaded to the the website so it's submitted to HMRC and you've then sent your your um, spreadsheet um, through uh, uh, making tax digital and you've satisfied the requirements as we go back to the start of VAT notice 722. Thank you for watching and listening to this video.